Elon Musk's Neuralink, the secretive company developing brain machine interfaces, showed off some of the technology it has been developing to the public for the first time. The goal is to eventually begin implanting devices in paralyzed humans, allowing them to control phones and computers. The first big advance is flexible threads, which are less likely to damage the brain than the materials currently used in brain machine interfaces. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to get updated with technology trends. We bring you the video related to Elon Musk Neuralink program, so stick till the end. Controlling your PC by simply thinking of the commands you want it to do is something Elon Musk wants to push into fruition very soon. In fact, the billionaire tech mogul wants it to happen by next year with the Neuralink human trials. Musk's brain interface technology company, Neuralink, seeks to begin implanting a microchip into human brains in 2022. This device would allow people with physical disabilities to control a PC with just their thoughts. Apart from this, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO also targets restoring full body functionality to quadriplegic patients using the technology. In April, Musk's neurotech startup Neuralink performed a controversial experiment where a macaque monkey with two linked devices implanted in his brain was seen playing a simple video game solely with his mind. The same type of brain implant could be experimented in humans as soon as next year. The CEO said, we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. Musk, who is also the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, said in a video interview during the Wall Street Journal's CEO Council Conference. Neuralink's eventual goal is to make a brain machine interface where humans' consciousness and machine intelligence assemble into one. But early use cases will focus on helping people with paralysis and other neurological disorders regain control of their lives. I think we have a chance, and I emphasize a chance, to be able to allow someone who cannot walk or use their arms to be able to walk again naturally," Musk said during a conference, adding, I don't want to raise hopes unreasonably, but I'm increasingly convinced that this could be done. Reiterating his cautious optimism, he later clarified on Twitter, I am definitely not saying that we can for sure do this, but I am increasingly confident that it is possible. In any case, Neuralink's first challenge is to get the FDA on board with experimenting with such a device on humans. Confident that regulatory approval won't be an issue, Musk said Neuralink standards for implanting the device are higher than the FDA requires. In Neuralink's monkey experiment, the two brain chips the animal had were implanted in an area called the motor cortex, which coordinates hand and arm movement. The experiment conductor first trained the monkey to play a video game with a joystick. During the process, the brain chip recorded the monkey's neuron activity and then fed the data into the algorithm which would predict his hand movements in real time. Eventually, the monkey was able to play the game, move a cursor to where he wanted, without touching the joystick. A human experiment aiming to repair neurological functions will likely be more complicated and involve bridging signals between existing neurons. Musk explained on Twitter, replacing faulty missing neurons with circuits is the right way to think about it. He wrote in response to a Twitter user asking how a Neuralink device could help restore memory loss or delusions from a stroke. Many problems can be solved using bridging signals between existing neurons. Progress will accelerate when we have devices in humans. Hard to have nuanced conversations with monkeys next year. Elon Musk's brain machine interface company Neuralink also conducted a live demo of its technology, manifesting a coin-sized device without wires. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO brought along three pigs who had varying levels of interest in cooperating. Eventually, the audience was shown real-time neural signals from one of the pigs, which Musk named Gertrude. According to Musk, Gertrude has had the implant for about two months. The startup, which launched in 2016 and is funded primarily by Musk, said it is designing tiny flexible threads that are 10 times thinner than a human hair with the goal of treating brain injuries and trauma, along with someday enabling symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. The design has been tested on at least 19 different animals with robots with around an 87% success rate. According to the venture's presentation last year, Musk described it as like a Fitbit in your skull. These threads also create the possibility to transferring a high volume of data, according to a white paper credited to Elon Musk and Neuralink. The abstract notes that the system could include as many as 3,072 electrodes per array distributed across 96 threads. 
The threads are 4 to 6 um in width, which makes them considerably thinner than a human hair. In addition to developing the threads, Neuralink's other big advances is a machine that automatically embeds them. This was one of the company's first demonstrations of the tech in action. We will show neurons firing in real time on August 28th, the Matrix in the Matrix. Musk tweeted at the end of July. Back in July 2019, he said that he hoped to have an implant in a human patient by the end of 2020. Along the way, Musk has made some highly ambitious claims about the technology's potential. Installing a chip to replace a small portion of the human skull, for instance, could restore limb function, improve human movement, resolve issues with eyesight and hearing, and help with diseases like Parkinson's, the company claims. At the presentation, Musk listed a number of different conditions that Neuralink is currently focused on, including memory loss, blindness, and paralysis. He said the process of getting a link will not require general anesthesia, and he hopes that a robot will do the entire surgery in about an hour. Musk said that people who get the Neuralink device are left with a tiny scar after the electrodes are inserted into the brain. And if done well, there won't be any blood. He described it as about the size of a large coin. As its name implies, the role of neuron activities are very important to Neuralink's technology. The group's long-term goal of obtaining human symbiosis with artificial intelligence, or AI, begins by connecting electrodes throughout the brain and reading its neuron signals altogether. Gathering huge amount of data from the signals would eventually teach Neuralink software how the brain uses them to communicate with the rest of the body, ultimately leading to a certain amount of replication and direction. The company has experienced its fair share of struggles along the way, with former employees detailing to Stat News, rushed timelines, and slow scientific progress. Neuralink and any would-be competitors will have major challenges to overcome, according to experts in the space. Chad Booten, a vice president of advanced engineering at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research, said that there are safety concerns with any kind of invasive technology, including possible infection with any implant. It's non-trivial, he said. Booten hopes that Musk's group will focus at least initially on people with the greatest need for this technology, including people who have severe disabilities. For people with conditions like ALS, a progressive nervous system disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord, such technology could open up new ways to move and speak. He also said that this kind of technology probably won't be used effectively by a mainstream audience for more than a decade. There will be ethical and safety issues to work through, and for a long time, it's likely that they'll have to have a real medical need to access this technology, he said. Beyond providing new life for the disabled, Neuralink would eventually seek to provide implants for people to enhance their intelligence. It seeks to have a full brain interface in 25 years. In the future, scientists from Neuralink hope to use a laser beam to get through the skull, rather than drilling holes, they said in interviews. Early experiments will be done with neuroscientists at Stanford University, according to that report. We hope to have this in a human patient by the end of next year, Musk said. That said, this is it for today's video. So what is your take on this matter? Tell us in the comments. If you want to see our upcoming videos, ring the bell icon, and don't forget to like our video as well. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching.